Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with men's track and field coach Brandon Yule, men's golf captain Patrick Claussen, and men's lacrosse captain Colin Frazier. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington in the athletics. Jillian Catterhagen won the pole vault, and Dana Lee claimed first place in the long jump as women's track and field finished second overall at the ODAC Indoor Championship in Landover, Maryland. On the men's side, Ian McDonald earned athlete of the meet honors by winning the mile and the 3,000 meters as Washington and Lee placed third. Both basketball teams lost in the ODAC quarterfinals. The sixth-seeded women fell 55-53 to number three Lynchburg, while the men's team lost 81-53 to to second seed and 10th-ranked Virginia Wesleyan. Women's tennis dropped a 5-4 decision to Carnegie Mellon, but rebounded to defeat Skidmore and Sewanee, placing fifth at the ITA National Team Indoor Championship in Greencastle, Indiana. Men's tennis lost 7-0 to 7th-ranked Johns Hopkins, but the Generals also picked up an ODAC win over Randolph. Wrestling wrapped up the season with the 17th place showing at the NCAA East Regional in Roanoke. Men's lacrosse defeated 4th-ranked Washington College 15-7 on the road, while women's lacrosse lost 17-7 on a neutral field against number 8 Frank Letter Marshall. And the golf teams opened up their spring schedule at the Barry Calloway Gardens Intercollegiate. Mary Frances Hall was the individual medalist as the women finished second, while the men came in eighth overall. I'm joined now by men's track and field coach Brandon Yule. Brandon, welcome back to the show. Glad to be back. Overall, how pleased were you with the performance at the ODAC Indoor Championship? Overall, I was, I was real pleased. We were uh, obviously we were third, and we uh, left a few points on the board there. But as far as with the number of athletes that we that we currently have on the team, I think we maximized our potential, and uh, we're looking forward to going into the outdoor season. Going back to the fall, Ian McDonald uh, won the ODAC Cross Country Championship, finished first at the conference meet, and then of course athlete of the meet at the indoor uh, championship this past weekend. What kind of sophomore season is he having? Well, he's literally having one for the record books. Um, you know, when you, when you combine someone with his high character and with his, um, his work ethic and his talent, I mean, you're gonna have results like that. And he's having, he's having quite a year. And that's something, when he was recruited, we thought he had that potential and he's definitely living up to that. And, uh, you know, God willing, he stays, he stays healthy and, uh, continues that hopefully for the indoor champion national championships and in the outdoor season but he's just doing real well we're real pleased with him the generals begin the outdoor season with the WNL carnival in just over two weeks what's the scoop on this year's event well it'll be the typical you know 10 to 12 teams coming in and uh one of the big things with this year was we're going to be actually having the throws events over at vmi because of the construction um, but uh they'll still sh should go off without a hitch and uh, it's an exciting event for our athletes because it's the one and only home event that we that we have and uh, brings a lot of excitement it typically brings a lot of good performances and uh, as coaches we we put in a lot of work to make to host it but it's it's well worth it to see our our teams really get after it and uh, enjoy being at home what are the team's goals for the outdoor season well to continue to develop i mean to build off of what we've done in the indoor season what we did in the fall and uh, obviously to continue to shoot for for that first place in the conference championship. But again, just to develop and uh, you know, work at getting better and better each day. And uh, it's a short season for us in the outdoor season as far as the regular season, but uh, I think if we keep on developing and uh, we should put ourselves in position to be at least in the top three again come uh, outdoor ODAC championships. Brandon, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck during the spring. Thank you. Here with me now is Patrick Claussen, senior golf captain from Ottawa, Tennessee. Patrick, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Washington and Lee had some very good results during the fall. You just played your first event of the spring down in Georgia over the weekend. How pleased have you been with the general season thus far? Uh, thus far, very pleased. Um, seen continuous improvement over the season uh, from the beginning of the year. We started kind of shaky at the fall preview, but then we had great results at an Oglethorpe's tournament and then at a tournament in Texas where we finished fourth and third, and we had some really low scores. Conley Hurst shot 68 in Texas. And then we finished off with Guilford's tournament in Greensboro, and we did very well there. And then with the Barry tournament uh, this past weekend, we were a little rusty because it's been a little snowy here and we haven't been able to go outside, but I feel like we fared pretty well against the competition. Most of the General's top performers this year have been first years and sophomores. What have the underclassmen brought to the team? They've, uh, they've really brought a fresh look to the team. I know we have five freshmen uh, this year, and all five of them can make the team at any time. And then with the addition of the sophomores, who are obviously all playing well, um, it's been a real challenge to make the team. And I think that's made everyone focus on their play uh, when qualifying comes. And I feel like we've gotten a lot better just because of the increased competition. 
The ODAC championship comes right after the conclusion of winter term exams at Washington and Lee. What kind of challenge will that pose for you guys? Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult challenge, obviously, because uh, we won't have practice for an entire week just because of exams. Um, but luckily, I think the team is, we've had the same situation before. and We've dealt with it well. And uh, hopefully during some study breaks, maybe some people can find their way to the course. I know that helps me uh, on occasion, but um, it does pose a challenge, but I think we can overcome it. What are your expectations for the generals this spring? Uh, expectations are high. Um, this is obviously my last year, uh, and this is the best team I've seen in all my years here. And obviously our expectations are to qualify for the national championship. We're on a really good track now. I think we're 23rd in the nation and our ranking hopefully will improve. Um, we have a tournament this coming weekend at in Dalton Island, South Carolina, and it's a course we played a lot and we know, and I feel like if we do well there and then move on to uh, Townsend, has a D1 tournament, and the competition there will really help us for ODAX get ready for that and hopefully to nationals. Patrick, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. With me in the studio is Colin Frazier, senior lacrosse captain from Long Beach, New York. Colin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. The Generals opened up the year with a loss to Christopher Newport, but you've responded with three straight wins, including victories over two top 10 teams, Denison and Washington College. What's been the key to the success early on for Washington mm -hmm. Lee? Well, I think heading into the Christopher Newport game, we knew we had all the talent in the world, but I think after that game, we learned a pretty valuable lesson. You know, we're not gonna be able to just roll the balls out and be able to be quality teams. So I think that's really something that's stuck with us. and kind of motivated us uh, through the next practices after that to really just have a renewed focus on our team, just getting better each and every day. I think we had a pretty strong win against Denison. Guys felt pretty happy about that. But uh, something that one of our assistant coaches, uh, Coach Koch, said to us really kind of stuck with the team. That's that it's, it's really easy to get better after a loss, but it's, it's extremely difficult to improve on a win. And that was kind of what made you know the seniors, the captains, and myself just really proud after that Washington College game is that we really felt we did approve on that, on that Denison game and really put forth a full 60 minutes of quality lacrosse. Washington and Lee brings back just about everyone on the defensive end. How can that experience benefit the team? Yeah, I think that experience can be huge. I mean, especially on the defensive end. Uh, you know, on the defensive end, there can't just be one player can't really go out there and just will, will a team to win. Just, you know, it really has to be a team effort where everyone is on the same page and we really have to be working within our system. So I think as you have experience with certain guys and you become more comfortable with their playing styles, there's obviously a, a pretty clear benefit there. You know where each other, you know, you know, you know where each other are going to be on each play and you really just have that chemistry. And I think as we play, you know, the tough opponents coming up on our schedule, that'll really be hopefully a calming force for our team and for us with some confidence going forward. I know an ODAC championship is near the top of the list of WNL's goals for the season. What do you need to do to win a conference title? Well, you know, I think in the ODAC, there's a ton of different ways you can win a conference title just based on, you know, the nature of the playoffs. A lot of teams do get in, but... Our team goals this year, we're really looking to just run the table in the regular season in the ODAC, which would mean that, you know, we would host the ODAC tournament for the first time in my career here. What would make that really special this year is that it also falls on spring alumni weekend. So we'd have, you know, a really strong fan base out for those games. And we think that would be a really huge advantage. You know, that being said, it is a long season. Anything can happen. So, you know, if we're not the number one seed, I think, you just have to be prepared to go into the ODEC tournament knowing every game is going to be a dogfight and that pretty much any opponent you play is really going to be a quality team. WNL opens up a six-game homestand this weekend against Franklin and Marshall. What are the Generals looking to accomplish over the next three weeks? Mm. Well, I think there's a couple things we're really looking to accomplish here. You know, as I mentioned before, we're kind of just focusing on ourselves in this period of the, tor uh, this period of the season. Really just want to make sure that each day and each game we're improving and we're getting better. That each game we're playing better than we played in the last game. So I think that's kind of the first thing we're looking for there. But beyond that, you know, we've had a couple quality wins. But I think it's really important to prove to ourselves, you know, before we get into the heart of our ODAC season, 
that we're able to string together, you know, a large amount of wins in a row against these quality opponents. And I think this is a, a great way to, you know, prepare for the Roanokes and the Lynchburgs of, of the world playing these quality opponents early on in our season. Colin, thank you for joining us here. Good luck the rest of the year. Thanks, I appreciate it. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. The tennis teams will play home ODAC matches against Virginia Wesleyan and Emory and Henry. Men's action starts at 10, while the women will take the court at noon. Baseball is slated to face Lynchburg in a conference doubleheader, while women's lacrosse plays host to 8th-ranked Salisbury, and men's lacrosse faces Franklin and Marshall. And on Sunday, men's tennis travels to Guilford. As always, check generalsports.com for the latest schedule updates and scores. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.